Toto Wolff is among the most popular motorsports executives in the Formula One paddock and the richest. Currently serving as the CEO and team principal of the Mercedes F1 team, Wolff reportedly has a staggering net worth of $540 million. But how was Toto Wolff able to amass such wealth? Stay tuned to find out. In the world of Formula One, Toto Wolff is not just a team principal, he's a legend. With his tall frame, suave demeanor, and expert business acumen, Wolf is like the James Bond of the motorsport world. But unlike Bond, Wolf doesn't have a license to kill. Instead, he has a license to win. And when he does, with a resume that boasts eight constructors' championships and seven drivers' championships, Wolf is arguably the most successful team principal in modern F1 history. Now, when he joined the then struggling Mercedes team in 2013, many thought it was a risky move. But Wolf saw the potential, and with his trademark blend of sharp thinking and bold leadership, he transformed the team into a powerhouse. But Wolf's story is not just about winning, it's about rising from the ashes of poverty and turning things around. It's no surprise that Wolf has a net worth of over $540 million. He's not just a team principal, he's a master of business. Whether he's fixing problems in F1 or investing in other ventures, Wolf knows how to turn a profit. Let's take a look at Wolf's journey from poverty to wealth. Wolf didn't come from a particularly well-off background. He was born in Vienna to a Polish mother and a Romanian father. Unfortunately, when Wolf was just eight years old, his father was diagnosed with brain cancer, which eventually led to his passing when Wolf was still a teenager. These challenges had a significant impact on Wolf and his family including financial struggles. In fact, Wolf and his sister were forced to leave their private school because they were unable to pay the fees. Despite these hardships, Wolf remained determined and focused on his passions. As a young man, Wolf had a burning passion for racing, but he soon realized that he wasn't cut out for the track. Undeterred, he found a new calling in banking, honing his skills as an investor in the fast-paced world of finance. But Wolf didn't just settle for being a cog in the corporate machine. He had bigger ambitions. He knew that he had a talent for spotting opportunities, and he wanted to use that talent to build something of his own. And so, he started his own venture capital firm, riding the tech boom of the late 90s and early 2000s. These two companies initially focused solely on technology-related investments. The success of March 15 and March 16, Wolf's two VC firms, was no accident. Wolf knew how to identify the right investment, and he had the courage to take risks where others wouldn't. He wasn't afraid to pivot when the market changed, moving into new sectors and adapting to new challenges. This ability to adapt sets Wolf apart from other financial minds. He knows that success is never a given, and that the key to staying ahead of the curve is to keep evolving. And it's this same philosophy that he brings to his role as a team principal in Formula One. With a keen eye for technology, Wolf made smart investments in a variety of sectors, from dot-com startups to race engineering. And one of his most notable investments was in HWA Race Lab, the group responsible for managing the Mercedes DTM racing team. With a 49% stake in the company, Wolf helped get it listed on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange in 2007. And while the exact amount he made from this investment remains a mystery, one thing is clear, it was likely a smart move. Now, one of Wolf's distinguishing qualities is his proficiency in expanding his investment portfolio across diverse assets. He's not just a one-trick pony, he's a man who understands the importance of having a range of investments, from cars and houses to businesses and stocks. So, how did Wolf get involved and invested in motorsport? Motorsport, like horse racing, is largely the domain of the rich. Only those who can afford to buy, keep, and maintain highly specialized machinery can step into the paddock and participate in a championship. And with his vast wealth from his success in banking, Wolf found a way to make his money work for him in the racing world. In 2002, he teamed up with Mika Hakkinen to manage upcoming racing drivers. It was a bold move, but one that paid off handsomely. One of the drivers they managed was a young Finnish driver by the name of Valtteri Bottas. And while he may not have been a household name at the time, he certainly is now. But that's not all. Wolf also used some of his wealth to go racing himself. He competed in the FIA GT World Championship, a series that features some of the world's most exotic and expensive sports cars. And in 2006, he even won the 24 Hours of Bahrain. As the CEO of Mercedes F1 team, Wolf has established himself as a force to be reckoned with, both on and off the track. 
But what many people may not know is that Wolf's love for racing extends beyond just one team. In fact, he's a stakeholder in three different F1 teams, Aston Martin, Williams and Mercedes. Now, some may call this a conflict of interest, but for Wolf, it's simply a way to merge his passion for racing with his skill in investing. And while he wants to see these teams succeed, there's no denying that his heart lies with Mercedes. After all, he owns a 33% stake in the team. Now, let's discuss how Wolf managed to invest in the Mercedes F1 team and how he assumed the role of CEO and team principal of the Silver Arrows. In 2012, Mercedes approached Wolf for his opinion on the team's recent failures. While Mercedes had Nico Rosberg and Michael Schumacher racing for them, the team sat destitute at the back of the pack, often finishing outside the point. It was a dark time for the team, and Mercedes knew they needed to make some changes if they were going to be competitive and challenge the likes of Ferrari and Red Bull. That's where Wolf came in. Mercedes offered him a unique opportunity to both be an investing partner and team CEO. It was a proposal that made perfect financial sense for Wolf. After all, if he could turn the team around and get them back to the top of the podium, his investment would pay off in spades. But it wasn't just about the money for Wolf. He's always had a passion for racing and he knew he had the skills to help Mercedes succeed. And that's exactly what he did. Under Wolf's leadership, Mercedes went on to win multiple championships and establish themselves as one of the top teams in the sport. By Mercedes AMG F1's account, Wolf started out with only a 30% stake in the team. However, this increased to 33% on equal footing with Ineos and Daimler AG. As a result, every piece of Mercedes F1 merchandise cut goes to Wolf. Also, the Austrian currently gets paid a fixed salary of $9.1 million by the team. Additionally, he also earns bonuses for team wins, championships, and other performance-related criteria. No doubt, Wolf successfully made his riches from the sport he loves. Meanwhile, the rest of his investments are in the stock market. The Austrian is believed to have invested approximately $100 million in six stocks, HSBC, Alphabet, Apple, Coca-Cola, JP Morgan, and Berkshire Hathaway. Reports claim that Wolf's net worth has grown by a staggering 56% over the past five years. Toto Wolf's entrepreneurial spirit is something that he's carried with him from a young age. As a teenager in Austria in the 1990s, he saw an opportunity to make a profit while also supporting a worthy cause. When he heard about an anti-racism protest that would include a candlelight vigil, he realized that there would likely be a high demand for candles. So, he decided to buy out a stock of candles and sell them to interested individuals. At first, his sales were slow, but as the hour of the vigil approached, they began to pick up. This story may appear insignificant, but it's a powerful reminder of the importance of seizing opportunities and taking risks in pursuit of one's goals. From that early experience, Wolf went on to become a successful entrepreneur and investor with a talent for identifying opportunities and turning them into profit. The globe-trotting millionaire appears to live a somewhat understated life with his wife, Susie Wolf, another familiar face from the Formula One paddock. Susie Wolf also acts as Formula E's Team Rocket CEO. So, what's your thoughts about Toto Wolf's rise to wealth and fame? Let us know in the comments section down below.